I found a Columbus River Ranch here at affordable truck and RV. I don't know where we are, I'll be honest with you. We're traveling and we literally just saw this thing on the side of the road and I had to stop. This thing is amazing. It's 42 foot and it has a patent pending design. Um, as you can see down below, look at all the storage you have. Like this is not fake. This is all storage all on the bottom of this RV. I don't see that it has a drop frame or anything like that, but like it's just, you'll see when we get inside. But let's go ahead and just take a look at what's up front. I've seen these online before, never seen one in person, but as you can see, you do have an air truck right here. You can add air to this, and this does have a shock absorber, kind of like my Reese Goose box, but it is a standard fifth wheel hitch or pin box, excuse me, and it has an airbag right there. And yeah, it looks like it really would help going down the road give you a lot better control and you know feel and of course this this is a Columbus on the side of it here it has a regular more ride pin box but I'm just really blown away by this RV guys like check this out let's take a look under here oh wow hey, look how tall this is guys this is ridiculous I'll give you a rack up there to hang some stuff Looks to be a 30 pound propane tank on each side. And this is gonna have your uh, hydraulic system in here, dual battery setup. I mean, this is really nice, really nice setup here. And it's really tall, I've never seen one this tall before. And it looks like this one's gonna have six point auto leveling system too. And let's go ahead and just take a look in here. This is kind of a small storage area, but check this out. This, I've never seen before. Like, look how much storage you have in here. Like, this is a lot of storage. And the reason why I'm saying that is, look, check this out. You have another door right here, okay? And then right here is just another door for this storage area like so you don't necessarily have to move things around they give you three doors to get to whatever you need to get to I would definitely recommend adding one of those sliding racks in here if you can get it to fit because there's a lot of storage that you can put inside this RV and this is a pretty wide front door too for the RV wide steps so if you're a little bit older, you know, getting in and out of this RV is going to be a lot easier. This does have Westlake tires. This is a 215, 75, 17 and a half inch wheel. And let's take a look. This one does have, you can see it a little bit better here. It's 4,805 pounds of capacity on this tire. And it's going to be a 123 PSI is cold. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 123 PSI, 16 ply, load range H. And then you do have a gas line back here. And as I mentioned earlier, the reason why that front storage was so crazy was because it continues. I've never seen them have this much storage. And I think that's why this is patent pending because I've never seen pretty much the entire bottom of the RV have so much storage. And look how thick that door is too. And you do have a speaker out back too. Looks like it's through JBL. And this one does have a pretty large awning too. It may have two. Yeah, it has two awnings. And they pretty much cover the entire room. Love that window up top there. You don't normally see that on these two. That's a big door. Look how big that door is, guys. Wow. And I didn't show it to you either, but this does have a Morai suspension set up too. It does have leaf springs as well. And it looks to have an accessory hitch out back too. Sorry about the road noise. Yeah. Camera up top there. 
And then this is your 50 amp power. And on this slide, you do have two large slides. And this is a Lippert Slim Rack system. And as you guys just saw that power cord reel there. Yeah, look at all the doors down below. Like, so much storage. Let's go all the way up to here. It's a little bit more area than here. This has a water filtration already. This has a Nautilus system on it. Really, really cool. This is the back of the furnace. And then this is a water heater. Looks to be gas electric. It's probably gonna be 10 gallon or 12. 12 gallon, 12 gallon water heater. And then this is where you're gonna dump that right here. I actually like that they put the dumps outside of that area compartment. I like that. It's a good idea. Because when you run your water hoses through this area and then you have to dump, they get in the way. So I like that they broke it up too. That's a good idea. And these are really big slide outs too. Really big. But yeah guys, like this is a I can't wait to show you the inside. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the number before we go in there. The girl steel weight of this rig is going to be $17,999. You're going to have two axles that are going to be able to hold 8,000 pounds per. And your all-in cargo carrying capacity is going to be 3,805 pounds, which means this rig weighs 14,194 pounds unloaded. So, yeah. You have a lot of storage and you have a lot, enough capacity most likely to carry a lot of stuff with you on your camping trip so if you work full-time this would be a great rig for you if you need storage for some of your equipment let's go ahead and go inside this rig so you guys can see the inside check out this first step so big and then as you walk in you keep going up steps because of that storage well look i have my wife today so she's going to help us with the inside are you are you gonna help us with the inside? Or are you are you in all? I am. Like I'm I, still have you, taking it in. Yeah, yeah. So she's still taking it in. So let me take it in too for a second. So we're actually on the way to the Redwoods, past this RV dealer. Justin asked if we could stop, and then he asked me to come take a look because it's really cool. Yeah. And it is. The steps are very wide coming up, which I love. Um, and that very top step is even longer than the average. Yes. Prevents falls, you can actually set bags down, open your door. If you see the screen, just the door is very wide. Mm -hmm. You do have a couple more steps once you get in, but this could also be like a landing point when you're going out, you can, you know, your kids could sit down, put their shoes on, you could kick some shoes down there if you wanted. Yes. And then it has these really cool gates where if you do have a baby or a dog that you don't want to mess up the screen, you just put the gate up. Very modern, yes. contemporary. And it doesn't get in the way either. No, so you can easily fold it in. Just like that. Yeah. The island is huge. I love the aesthetic of everything. I don't think I would paint or change anything in here. Thank God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love the couches. This looks like it has a king pull out bed. Um, Look how thick that is too. Look how thick those cushions are too. Wow. Yeah, and it is. Yep. yep. It's a king pull-out bed on this back couch. I like how the windows open as well. I feel like these are the types of windows that you could keep open even when it's raining outside because they open down, not yeah. sideways or up. Those may be dual has, pane. Yeah, and it has the room darkening shades which is really nice wow. um, all of the attention to detail the molding around the windows the little sconces that they give you uh power outlets are everywhere yeah, right down there it even comes equipped with the jbl speaker system which anyone who has an rv knows the tv and the speaker systems typically suck like it doesn't work well so i would imagine that these work very well um, it looks like you even have subwoofers. I mean, those, those are tweeters. That's probably the sub right tweeters, there. Tweeters, yeah. And then more storage underneath for all your movies, books, entertainment things. You got a cute fireplace. Mm -hmm. 
There's more storage behind oh the gosh. TV. Yeah. I said outside, if you like travel with your business and you need the storage, this is the rig you want. Like, there's so much storage. It's like scary. Yeah. yeah. This and everything's tall, which I feel like you appreciate as a mm -hmm. tall person who's oh, yeah. doing the dishes. This is like the perfect height. Our RV and a lot of RVs that we walk through are a lot lower, even for me, and I'm only 5'2", but this is a great height for those guys who are doing the dishes, you know? Um, it comes with all the bells and whistles. And yeah, it's a deep sink. You have a drainer here. You have so cool. a little pan here. Look at that. That's so cool. You wanted to soak stuff. Yeah. And lots and lots and lots of storage. You can just see all of the storage. Yep. They give you a four burner stove, which I love. Um, ours is a three burner and it's even hard to use three if you're using all of them with full pans. Yes. This looks like you could sit a full pan on here and still have room around it. The oven is like a full-size oven. Yep. I could fit a pizza in there. That's something I've never seen. Samsung for the microwave. Mm-hmm. Is that really convection? Nice. I don't think so. No. Just more storage again wow. on both sides. You have these outlets here. So you have one here on the island. You have one over there too if you want to put your coffee pot or Instapot or air yes. fryer over there. These are great because you can hide them away when you're not using them. Mm -hmm. The refrigerator, beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty big. It is gas and electric though. I would probably, if there's an option from Columbus to upgrade this, that's the only thing I'll say about the interior. Everything else is perfect inside of here. That's about the size. It might be a little bit bigger than ours actually. Never mind. This is yeah. way bigger than ours. Yeah. Love all the windows, the yes. natural light that comes through, and my one of my favorite things is having an actual pantry. Yeah, is there light in here? Yep, you got lights inside of here, powers in here. Wow, this is definitely the floor plan of the year, I think. And check out how wide this hallway is. Like, this is really wide, look at that. Yeah, you mentioned that this has like a beach vibe to it. Yeah. And I agree with that too, by the way. Real quickly too, there is two AC units in this area, so you could probably cool this down in 90 degree weather, no problem. And there is one in the bedroom, which you'll see in a second. And this looks to be your control panel for the RV. I don't see the old school one. What's this? Internet? Oh yeah, internet up top. Yep. Bathroom, something that a feature we like to have is access from our bedroom and the hallway. So this has like that Jack and Jill vibe yes. going on. Very large shower, toilet, again, lots and lots of storage in the bathroom. Uh, this entire countertop is huge, huge. Yeah, I think Columbus beat everybody out. And then you even have more, like if I didn't want, are you recording still? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> like if I wanted to set my coffee pot up in here, actually that would be gross. But like if I wanted like a coffee bar in my room. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. Like yeah. you could set all your stuff up or your toothbrush if you have like an electric one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, access from in here. The bedroom's beautiful. Yeah, look, look really quickly. Like look how deep, like I can't even reach that side of it. That's how deep this is. And as Hannah said too, the, the shower's huge. So two people would take a shower together. And this is a king size bed? Yep. Wow. King size bed. Again, wouldn't change anything. Like, this is really nice. They even give you a fireplace in here, which is rare. Yep. And you have all your drawers on both sides. Pop up Your television. TV yep. pops up. I don't know if there's storage under the bed, but. Yeah, I'm in awe. And then washer and dryer room. And they did prep it already, because I, I saw the vent outside already. So all you have to do is just pretty much put it inside of here, you're done. Which I would in this, in yes. this And you have your closet. 
shelves for shoes or clothes bins. Yes. And then you have more storage up here, maybe for winter items. Yes. And blankets. It's everything that you could need. Yep. And one thing I like about this rig is you don't have to put a lot of heavy stuff on the front of the rig. So you would obviously transfer that weight to the truck. You could put a lot of stuff in the back too and really like, I guess, distribute it really well. And yeah, there, I've never seen this much storage before. Whoever designed this, they take everybody and everything with them when they go places. So yeah, you can really, really throw down in here if you'd like to carry all your stuff with you. I think that's pretty much it. You know, as I mentioned, this is the third AC unit. And I would say that out of all the luxury and couple trailers I've seen, this one is definitely like top three. Yeah. Like really nice floor plan. This is patent pending I saw on the door for this design. So yeah, I mean, even like little things like on the on the walls, like the, the light switches, like everything just looks really nice. Everything fits well. The, interior design and colors perfect like Hannah said it does have that beach vibe like especially like seeing this for some reason I don't know why that just kind of drives it home a lot better too but thanks for watching this video I hope it was helpful be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon